Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thank you for logging on. Today, I'm going to walk you through every phase of the usage, care, and maintenance of your Bell & Ross Vintage BRV294 Aero Naval. Now, this is an automatic winding timepiece by Caseback Automatic Winding Rotor. Nevertheless, if you wish to wind the watch manually, you can do so. Take the crown, turn it counterclockwise, to thread it out of its stem tube assembly. You'll feel it pop. You'll hear a distinct pop as it exits the stem tube assembly. And now, in that first position, turn the crown in a clockwise direction, 25 to 35 turns to start the movement. Now, that will be sufficient to start the watch. You can now set the watch, set the date, put it on your wrist, use the chronograph, and it will continue to wind itself via the kinetic action of your wrist. But if you wind the watch, manually and wish to continue all the way to the maximum rated power reserve of 40 to 42 hours, simply continue turning in a clockwise direction. The rough rule of thumb is about 45 turns will be sufficient to fully wind the timepiece. You can wind it to 50 if you wish. Listen for the subtle click or tick that is the bridle style mainspring slipping in its barrel. That's your sign the watch is fully wound. It's designed to relieve excess tension and strain so you cannot accidentally overwind this automatic winding timepiece. Now once you've wound up the watch there are two subsidiary setting modes that will allow you to more precisely synchronize to the correct time and date. Hacking or stop seconds is two clutch positions out. There are two distinct detents from the winding position. You can see how I've stopped the seconds hand. I've also stopped the constant seconds hand. Now what you want to do is you want to stop the constant seconds hand right at the index at 60. Then find an accurate reference such as an online atomic clock set to your time zone and set the watch to the correct hour and the next nearest minute. Let's say, for instance, it's 5.59. Well, we're going to set the watch to exactly 6 o'clock. Now that we have synchronized our seconds hand to the index at 60, we've set our watch to the correct hour and the next nearest minute. We're going to wait for our reference time, that atomic clock online, to catch up to the time we've set. And as soon as seconds, hours, and minutes all match, that instant push the crown back in. Now you've synchronized the watch to a reference time. There's another function that is one detent out from the stop seconds or hacking seconds position and between winding and stop seconds you have a quick set for the date and you'll note the date window at 4.30 as I turn the crown counterclockwise is cycling. This is a quick set function in case the watch should run down or encounter an irregular length month you can quickly correct the date. It's important to note that you should never use this feature, the quick set date, between 9 p.m. and 3 a.m. as that is a danger zone during which the watch is automatically jumping the date. If in doubt, always roll the watch through the changeover at midnight so you see the date change and then set it to 6 a.m. just to be careful. If you need to set the date between the hours of 9 p.m. and 3 a.m., manually roll the minutes and hours hands through the change at midnight and if you need to continue to set the date, roll past 3 a.m. and then use the quick set. It's always best to set to 6 a.m. because you know that you can't compromise the mechanism. It's also important to note that you should always screw the crowns down once you're finished using them. Not just for the sake of water resistance, but also to protect against abrasion and shearing. The crowns that flank the couronne de remontage, the winding crown at center, are for actuating the chronograph. Now the chronograph is always actuated in the following sequence. The crown at 2 o'clock is used to start and to stop, and then the crown at 4 o'clock is used to reset. Note it should always be in the sequence. While you're allowed to start, stop, and resume the ticking of the chronograph, you must always ensure that the chronograph has been halted prior to resetting, as attempting to reset while the chronograph is in motion will crash the movement and severely damage the watch. As ever, once you're finished with the crowns, chronograph functions or winding and setting, always thread the crowns down to a stop for maximum security. Now it's important to note there are three primary hazards that your watch will face. Water, magnetism, and shock. We'll start with water because it's the gravest threat and it is ubiquitous. A timepiece 100 meters water resistant, such as this chronograph from the Aero Naval design persuasion, is in the naval tradition and thus water resistant to 100 meters and sufficient for aquatic activities short of professional diving. 
That said, leather, as featured on the strap, is a natural porous material and never water resistant, so always keep it remote from moisture, and remember to put the watch on a water resistant band prior to aquatic activity. It's also important to remember that you must never use any of the functions of the watch. You can have the chronograph running, but you can't start, stop, or reset it while the watch is submerged or while there is water on the case. In fact, keep all crowns threaded down and disused whenever the watch is even wet, as attempting to use any of the functions can result in an accidental drowning of your timepiece. It's also important to remember that water resistance, unlike mechanical specification, is not a static feature of your watch, and over time as seals age and lubricants degrade, the watch will be relatively less water resistant. Therefore, Bell & Ross recommends water testing at minimum every 24 months with a dry water test at a Bell & Ross authorized service center. This is also a good time to have the holistic condition, strap condition, case condition, crystal, running condition, and water resistance evaluated by your Bell & Ross experts. Now, magnetism is ubiquitous and unseen, whereas you can avoid water by keeping an eye out. You need to remember where you're likely to encounter magnetism. Static magnets, such as the closures of wallets, purses, refrigerator doors, or powerful standing magnets in speakers and subwoofers, electromagnets in personal devices and high-powered wiring looms, all create a magnetic flux density that can change the state of the ferrous hairspring at the center of your watch's beating balance, its heartbeat. A magnetized watch will run erratically, either very quickly or slowly, but if you suspect your watch has become magnetized, take it to a Bell & Ross authorized service center where specialized equipment is available to quickly and easily demagnetize your watch. It's important to remember that while magnetism can be reversed, shock and concussion can cause more permanent damage to your watch. At a minimum, concussion can change the timing of your watch. Maximally, it can stop the watch, even fracture case and crystal components. So keep the watch disused during concussive activities such as firearms marksmanship, batting, tennis, golf, riding of mountain bikes or ATVs. And finally, every fine mechanical timepiece does require a comprehensive overhaul per Bell & Ross every three to five years. If your Bell & Ross service specialist determines that a full overhaul is required, it will involve replacement of worn straps, restoration of factory case polish and satin finish, restoration of factory rated water resistance, as well as disassembly, inspection, cleaning, oiling, and adjustment of the movement to maintain chronometric precision. It's important to service exclusively with the Bell & Ross factory or an authorized Bell & Ross service center, as the only these agencies have the trained personnel, the specialized tools, and the original Bell & Ross replacement parts to maintain the value of your watch as an instrument and as an investment. Moreover, only these agencies are able to back any labor and parts invested with a Bell & Ross factory service warranty. Finally, visit our website at goffbergwatches.com and call, text, or email our experts who will be happy to walk you through every phase of the ownership and usage of any Bell & Ross fine timepiece.